So here we are, question 101, a bit of algebra for you um, from uh, the year two syllabus. So here's the question. Um, I've got to combine three separate terms into a single, it says simplified fraction. Um, so I need to find a common denominator. So let's um, let's have a look at the uh, the denominator of the middle term that factorizes. So let's start by factorizing that. And now, in terms of um, uh, trying to combine these, we want a common uh, common denominator, um, and we could multiply the uh, the two denominators together here to get a common denominator. But if we did that, we'd be repeating the x plus 1. So instead of doing that, I'm simply going to use x plus 1 times x minus 1 as the common denominator. So I multiply the first term, the top and bottom, by x minus 1. The middle term is the same as it was before. And then the third term I'm multiplying by x plus 1 times x minus 1, both the numerator and the denominator. So now all of the denominators are the same. I can simply add together. And what I'm doing as I'm adding together is I'm going to multiply out, uh, expand these brackets here as I do that. So um, you can see here that I've also um, put some brackets around the uh, this term here x cubed minus x which is what you get when you multiply out those brackets but I've done that because um, I've got this minus here and it's very easy to forget that we've got minus a minus here so that's a pitfall to be avoided if you can use bra brackets diligently and then finally when we group the terms we get this. Now it's worthwhile just looking at this. Uh, we, we've been asked to, to express this as a simplified fraction and um, it's worthwhile just considering the numerator here for a moment uh, to see whether there are any factors um, that you might see um, fairly quickly that there, are, um, there aren't any factors to that cubic. So that's as, uh, as, as simplified as it, as it comes. Uh, if we had instead chosen x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 as a common factor, then we would have to do more simplification before the final answer could be um, written down. So that's the answer to that question.